To be quite honest, I don't think I would have cared about prisons had I not moved to America. I'm doing this Kickstarter because there's a lot of imagery out there in the mainstream media that doesn't get to the hearts of the stories of those involved in the various prison systems in the US. When I learned about the incarceration rate, when I learned about punitive laws, when I learned about the effects of the war on drugs upon uh, communities, particularly economically disadvantaged communities, and then particularly when I learned that recidivism rates were so high, it seemed to me that the system was broken. If we had hospitals or schools that failed in the way that prisons do, they would be closed down. So why do I need to go on the road? I need to go on the road because for nearly three years I've been doing prison photography, but prison photography is not a project only from behind a desk. There are stories across town, city, states that need to be told. So I will meet photographers who've worked over a 30, 40 year period and their experiences will feed into this narrative of mass incarceration that America has put in place. If I can do the legwork and travel across the country, I can bring those stories to one place because their experience will reflect the changes in the prison cultures. It's about using photography to gain access and a perspective on where we are today in America and how we treat those we deem as transgressors. The prisons are overcrowded and they are unsustainable. If media go to prisons, they go to at the invite of the prison administration. The, the power relations involved within prisons dictate that anything that gets seen, 99% of what gets seen, is sanctioned and possibly even designed by the prison authority. So, as well as photographers, I want to go meet people who work in prison arts, people who work in prison education, people who are advocates, uh, people who look to shorten sentences, exonerate people for um, if they've been wrongfully imprisoned. You know, we're talking about Shakespeare behind bars, we're talking about arts programs in Alabama, we're talking about people who worked to desegregate the prisons in Mississippi. During prison photography on the road, there will be two ways to access content via Creative Commons license and that's available to everyone. Anybody who funds the project will have access to uh, a second tier, a deeper level, a behind the scenes which will feature a lot of the details of the people I stay with along the way and it should be said I am relying a lot on the photo community in order to find places to sleep and places to eat on my way around America. So what do you get out of this? If you are watching on the Kickstarter page, look to your right here. We have postcards from the road. I will source them at the best Southern State Prison Museum I can find. Mixtapes of the tunes that keep me going over 8,000 miles. Original prison artwork. A book which will include an image and a paragraph by every image maker. Limited edition only available to those people who fund directly through this site. And finally, a number, a dozen or so prints donated kindly by photographers I am also meeting on the road, ranging from 200 to to 1000 dollars and in that regard that's how this Kickstarter differs a little from others. If you donate it's going to be 8,000 miles, three oil changes, probably a new set of windshield wipers. But more than that, we're going to tell the stories of those people documenting, working in and delivering social justice programs to the 2.3 million Americans in prisons today. This is going to be your alternative view of an American society. The stories are many and if I can tap a few dozen of those, I think we'll all be richer for it. Thank you.